Stick around until after the video to save 15% on Sticky Holsters products. The deer look fantastic. I mean, even though we're in a drought, a serious drought down in this part of the state of Texas, the deer, by looking at them, you wouldn't know it. I mean, you look at them and think their body conditions are absolutely incredible, whether you're looking at a young deer, a middle-aged deer, or a mature deer. And uh, one thing that's blowing my mind is the antlers. I mean, take a look at the antlers. It's just amazing. I mean, you know, we started out here 25 years ago feeding record rack. And uh, that was a decision that I never have regretted. In 25 years, there's been a lot of companies that come and go as far as supplemental feed goes. But there's only one record rack. And that record rack has caused our deer to basically get better year after year after year. So right now, <laughs> the deer are in great shape, even though we have a tremendous drought. So the pictures that I get on the Reconnex cameras help me make better decisions as far as which deer we're gonna take for this season. And you'll notice we very seldom have a management deer. And the reason why is because everything we've been doing for the last 25 years. But when we find a management deer, we know it and we want it taken out. And that's what Austin's gonna be after. Okay, Nicole and Austin, they, they've been here before, okay? And they wanted to come back. And so Austin, Austin knows what we've got. The deal is, can he sit patiently enough waiting for a management deer? Keep in mind, we don't have many management deer. My name's Nicole and I'm from Weatherford, Texas. I came to Hidden Springs Ranch to watch my son, Austin, shoot his first white-tailed deer. Oh my gosh, there's a deer out there. My name's Austin and I'm from Weatherford, Texas. I came to Hidden Springs Ranch to give my first whitetail buck. I think one thing that gets lost in hunters' minds is the experience. I mean, we all want to go kill a big deer, a big sheep or whatever, but it's all about the experience. And we also want to get kids started early. And if all you do is you're going for the trophy, it's, that's not the experience. If you want to make something indelible in a kid's heart and his mind that he wants to stay at the rest of his life, you don't just give them a trophy right away. It's all about the experiences. For that reason, we're all about the experience here on the ranch. Ooh, catfish. We want people to come out here and experience this. We have worked two and a half decades to build this the way it is. And we realize people have choices when it comes to where they want to go. And when somebody like Nicole and Austin want to come out here and share the experience that they get here, I think there's nothing better because that's what we want to do. We want to be able to help them have the best experience possible. And they'll also take home some nice deer. So Austin's going after a management deer. Now, what is a management deer? A management deer, in my opinion, is a buck that's three years old that does not show any kind of sign that he's going to grow into a trophy. And keep in mind that we've been giving proper nutrition to these animals for years and years and years. And so we've got multiple generations of deer that were conceived on fantastic nutrition. And so what we're looking for is a deer that just genetically, he just doesn't have what it takes to grow into a trophy. And the thing is, it's gonna be tough to find a deer like that because we've got so many trophy deer, we've been so aggressive throughout the years that we just don't have many management deer. So Austin's watched me on the show for years and years, you know, with the scent killer. So we give the bottle to Austin, he just like goes to town. He's getting the drill. You know what? Little boys stink, but this little boy, he doesn't stink anymore. All right, so Austin, Nicole, and Greg are set up in the blind. And the thing is, our blinds, they're first class. They're the best blinds, period, in the world. The end. Okay, if you know of a better blind, shoot me a message, because I don't think you can find a better blind than a tank blind. They're big, they're roomy, they're comfortable, you can see out of them. They're about as good as they get. So they're all set up, and now it's a matter of will the right deer show up. We're in our tank blind, we're ready. You excited today? Yes. We hope we get a big one, don't we? Yes. All right. So lots of deer activity, and yep, most of them were not management deer. But then all of a sudden, the right one shows up, and Greg gave him a thumbs up. Where'd he go? He's behind that buck. Okay. Okay. And when you get a chance, when he stops and stands still, and you're clear, 
take your gun off of safety. You got any ways clear? Go ahead and take your gun off safety. Keep your finger off the trigger. Finger off the trigger. Now, is the deer still standing broadside? Yes. Okay. Take a deep breath. Keep it on the shoulder. I told you. And squeeze the trigger whenever you're ready. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Go ahead. Easy, easy. Squeeze, squeeze. Congratulations. Shot my first drop time. Look at that. 14. 14 points. What a tremendous year. Yeah. Look at that, Austin. Holy smokes. Mm. Is this your first buck? Yeah. That's a pretty good first buck. Beautiful. What do you say we get him ready? Yeah. And get back up to the camp. Show him off to everybody. That sound good? Yeah. All right, you did a great job. I'm proud of you. Life is full of choices, you know, and we choose to do whatever we do. And you have consequences of those choices. And when Austin, as a young man, comes and makes a choice that he wants to hunt, and you can hear it in his voice, you can see it in his smile. But then I saw it right through him, right there. That's awesome, bud. Hello. Fist bump. You can tell that he made the right choice. This is something that I'm proud of Austin for coming on a hunt like this and coming with his mom. I mean, experiencing the entire event and it's something that he will never forget. So I am very proud of Austin. So Austin gets to check off the box. He's done. Now it's mom's turn. Nicole's going out and she's after a trophy buck. We just got in the tank blind. And after watching my son Austin shoot up his first buck yesterday, this morning relaxing on the porch, Keith let me know that I could sit and try to shoot a buck tonight. This particular spot that Nicole is sitting in, uh, we, we call it the danger zone, and there's a reason for that. You'll have to come out here and we'll tell you, but I'm telling you, this spot is good. It's like right in the middle of the best spot you could ever be in. So we have hunters come and say, would you take me to the danger zone? It's like, oh, we don't want to do it right now. We want you to wait a little bit because you're going to see all these other deer. But when we take you to the danger zone, <laughs> you better have a big spot on your wall because you're going to need it. He's a big, typical, like really wide, tall dine typical. I don't know how many bucks over the years we've taken in the danger zone. Big bucks. I think, okay. One, two. A bunch. And we can show you the video and anybody that watch our show online, you can tell. I mean, the danger zone, when you hit the danger zone, you went to the top of the top. The best we got. The hunters come here and see a lot of deer, okay? And we want everybody happy. And when all of a sudden the right deer comes in, she knows it. Yeah, but I 
told you so. That's what I'm talking about, girl. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Thank well, you. you roll him, he didn't come right over on his side. Awesome. Good. That is a beautiful deer. That's awesome. Ooh, Nicole, look at that deer. God, he's awesome. That is gorgeous. Look at that. He's massive. Golly. How many points does he have? Check that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen. Fifteen? Come on, Fifteen? I need a flyer off the front. That's cool. And a flyer off the back. Golly. Thank you, Texas Hidden Springs and Keith Warren for this incredible opportunity. This is awesome. Yes, it is. Congratulations. He is beautiful. Thank you, Greg. Very, very pretty. This is what I saw. A mass on him. A mass on him. He carries it all the way up. Let me go get the buggy and let's get him up to camp. All right, let's do it. All right, good job, Nicole. Thank you. So Austin got done and then Nicole jumped in and she shot a monster. I mean, both of them are happy. And the thing that makes me happy is seeing the smiles on their faces. But when Nicole called and said, look, can I bring Austin? Thumbs up, okay? It's kind of not real ordinary for a mother and son to come out. So when they come out for me, it's a real pleasure and we welcome that. So if somebody wants more information on hunting opportunities out here, you can shoot me a text on my cell phone, 830-629-4868. Coming up after the break, we're gonna head out with another lady hunter. She's a Marine, and she wants to take her bow and go after a management buck. So Claudia, let me tell you about Claudia. Claudia is a, uh, a hero in my opinion. She's uh, fighting for you and me. She's a US Marine, and uh, she works on helicopters, okay? Claudia loves driving her Jeep around, and. Uh, she loves shooting her bow and she's doggone good at it. So what we want to do, we want to do the best job that we can to get her the biggest buck that we can, perfect for her bow. My name is Claudia and I'm from Peoria, Arizona. I'm a Marine and I'm stationed in Southern California. So the first thing we want to do, because Claudia wants to shoot her bow, we want to see what she can do. So we set up a target and she's on, like really good. Shot really good at 20, and this is at 30 yards, so I think I'm ready. So Claudia's first hit is pretty good. She got to see a lot of deer. She just didn't get a chance to pull her bow back. But the next morning, things changed. The spot that uh, she set up in is a is a really cool spot, kind of tight quarters. Okay, the uh, the deer they're they're coming to the golden deer nuggets, and uh, they're also coming to to sniff around on the special golden estrus. But what we've got to do, we've got to find the right buck that comes in within her comfortable distance before she'll take a shot. There's that big eight we were looking for earlier. I love that deer. Get ready, because he's gonna, it's gonna happen here. So. Okay, right there. You're good. Take your time. Oh, you got him. Good shot. Good shot. Nice. Good shot. Good shot. Nice. Good shot. <laughs> nice. Nice hit. Nice hit. <laughs> The one in the back was starting to move forward and my shot was kind of getting close. All of them were moving around. It was just closing in and I had to shoot pretty quick. It was great. Good job. Thanks. Is that the one you wanted? It is the one I wanted. Awesome. Nice looking one. Big old tines and everything. So the buck is standing there perfectly broadside and we know Claudia can shoot. And uh, the thing is, it's real easy to shoot a target it's not real easy to shoot a hairy target. Kind of the heart starts pumping. I mean, things get going and things can go wrong. But Claudia is cool and collected. The problem is she hit in the middle of the shoulder and simply didn't have a lot of penetration. But that's okay. We're gonna give it some time. We're gonna go out in the morning and take a look for that deer. So 
So we looked for Claudia's deer. We did everything we could to find it. And all of a sudden, uh, we checked the Reconyx cameras and look what we saw. Just reviewing the footage from the Reconyx and that deer's still on his feet. The one that Claudia shot the other night, he looks healthy. The arrow didn't go in much. He hit that shoulder. So we're gonna, we're gonna move on with this one. And he had the arrow stuck in him and he is eating the golden deer knife. Now it's like, wait a minute, he couldn't be too hurt, could he? That arrow hanging out of him didn't make any difference whatsoever. So it was like, you know what? I took one of those decisions, just kind of one of those executive decisions. I said, Claudia, I'm gonna let you go for another deer. But this time, would you please take a rifle? It was my last night here and I decided to put the bow down. Thankfully, one of the guides here named Greg at Texas Hidden Springs Ranch decided to let me use his rifle. Last night, all we had were these does in front of us and I was getting really concerned. We were getting really low on camera light when this buck decided to show up. Well, tonight I ended up shooting with a rifle. I started out here with archery shooting, but things didn't go as planned, so I shot this nice nine pointer in Hidden, Texas Hidden Springs Ranch. I'd like to thank Keith Warren for inviting me out on this hunt. It's a beautiful time of year, and I'm really proud of this beautiful animal I shot. So Claudia made a really good shot and was extremely happy with the deer, and we were happy for her. This was really the trip of a lifetime. I'm glad I got to come out here and experience it. I said earlier in the show, it's all about the experience to us. We want everybody to be happy, but it is about the experience. And on today's program, we got to take you know, Nicole and Austin, and they had a wonderful experience and took some nice deer. And then we had Claudia come out and she wound up, she went from a zero to a hero really quick with her nice deer. And if you'd like more information on hunting opportunities out here, you can get a hold of me on my cell phone. And what I'd like you to do is go check out our website and then text me on my phone to call you. And my phone number is 830-629-4868. Yep, shoot me a text and Keith Warren will call you back. And so like I said, go check out our website first because it'll give you tons of good information before you get on the phone with me. Anyway, it's been a great show and I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch. If you're watching online, make sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're not watching on YouTube, make sure and head on over there and subscribe. We've got almost a million subscribers now on YouTube. My name is Keith Warren and we'll catch you next time. Sticky Holsters is famous for their super non-slip material holsters, magazine pouches, belly bands, thigh and ankle holsters, and off-body carry solutions. No clips, no loops, just comfort and security. Sticky Holsters now presents the Venatic Outdoor line for the outdoorsman. Their new Venatic collection has the most innovative and unique modular rifle sling on the market. This sling can easily be moved from firearm to firearm and will never slip off your shoulder due to the sticky material. They've also released a rifle or shotgun cheek pad riser that comes with an optional ammo holder and dope card sleeve. For everyday carry solutions and in the field comfort and performance, you need to check out Sticky Holsters and their new Venatic Outdoor line. Enter promo code HIGHROAD15 at purchase to save 15% on all Sticky products.